If we search for the devil's number on the internet, the first number that shows up is the number 666 and it's apparently got a connection with the devil. Apart from being known as the devil's number, the number 666 also has numerous interesting mathematical properties. If we were to ask you what those properties are, there's a decent chance that you'd at least guess that it's an even number. But there's more to the number 666 than just being an even number. The number 666 is a palindromic number. Now, palindromic is derived from the word palindrome, and palindrome is a word whose spelling remains unchanged when the letters are reversed. So let's look at an example. Right, so let's look at some examples. So uh, uh, let's look at the word rotor, R-O-T-O-R. -O -O so you have R-O-T-O-R, -O and then you have R-O-T-O-R. So the spelling remains unchanged when the letters are reversed. Uh, let's look at uh, another example. So you have race car. So R-A-C-E-C-A-R is race car. And if you go the other way around, you have R-A-C-E-C-A-R. -E so it doesn't matter whether you went this way or you went the other way, the spelling actually remains unchanged. So in a similar way, a palindromic number remains the same when the digits are reversed. Uh, so examples of that uh, would be the following. Uh, 101 would be a palindromic number, because that's 101, and you also have 101. Uh, another palindromic number could be 222. So for example, that's 222. So it's reasonably clear that uh, 666 is in fact a palindromic number. Let's consider a triangle number. Now uh, here it counts objects arranged in an equilateral triangle. So let's actually denote uh, T1 as the first uh, triangle number. So we place a dot there. So T1 is just simply one. So then we have one, two, three. So T2 is equal to 3. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So T3 is equal to 6. So T4 is equal to 10. Uh, let's do one more. So T5 is equal to 15. And if you carry on in this way, uh, what we find is that T36, T36 is actually 666. So T36 is 666, so 666 is actually a triangle number. So the number 666 is an even number. So what's that got to do with uh, the prime numbers? Uh, let's recall the definition of a prime number. So the definition is that a prime number is a number that is divisible, that is divisible uh, only by itself and one. Okay, so let's uh, recall the first uh, uh, couple of prime numbers. So the prime numbers are 2, uh, then we have 3, uh, we have 5, we have 7, you have 11, you have 13, and we have 17. Now let's go ahead and square them. And let's go ahead and add them all up. So you go ahead and them all up. And so essentially what we have here is the sum of the first seven primes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are the first seven primes. We've squared them up and added them together. And when you do that, guess what we get? We get six, six, six.
A Smith number is where the sum of the digits is equal to sum of the digits in its prime factorization. Okay, so let's start off with sum of the digits. So what we have is the number 666. So uh, if you want to sum of the digits, then that is just 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is 18. So now what we want is the prime factorization of 666. So the prime factorization of 666 would be 2 times 3 with a multiplicity of 2 times 37, right? So these are all prime numbers. So what we do need to do now is actually uh, consider the sum of the digits in the prime factorization. Now this is the prime factorization. So now what we need to do is uh, sum up the digits. So if we sum up the digits, uh, the digits that we find here, that would be 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 7. So 37 has two digits, 3 and 7. So if we add this up, you get 2 plus 3, 5, plus 3, 8, plus 3, 11, plus 7 is 18. So the number 666 also happens to be a Smith number. The roulette is actually a very common game in most casinos. In fact, it's one of those games where the casino usually makes a lot of money and the people who play this game often, on average, actually do not make a lot of money. In fact, they lose money. Uh, we'll talk about the mathematics behind the roulette wheel uh, in another video, but for now, we want you to notice that the roulette wheel has numbers all the way from 0 to 36. The roulette wheel has 37 numbers and the numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 36. So if you add up all the numbers, uh, let's keep 0 out of the picture. So you add up all the numbers, you get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all the way up to 35 plus 36. Uh, which formally would be written as the summation of i is equal to 1 to 36 over i. Uh, and if you perform that computation, we get 666. So we see that this number 666 uh, has connections with palindromic numbers, triangle numbers, prime numbers, the Smith number, and last but not the least, uh, with the roulette wheel. So it's clearly a more exciting number than we initially thought.